The act of investing in replacing your pianos sends out a message that to your current students that we're investing in them. It sends out a message to potential students that this is a place that takes music very seriously. And it sends out a message to your alumni that the place where they receive their music education is a place worthy of the investment of their time and their resources and that it's a place that they could send their kids to go to. Um, it, it's that three-tiered kind of, you know, your current students, your potential students, and your alumni. It also improved the morale of the faculty. I mean, imagine coming back from a break and you come in and you've got a brand new grand piano in your, in your teaching studio, and it sounds fantastic. And you start to play it and you go, I was, didn't realize what I was playing on before. This is fantastic. And that's what we get back from our teachers. Um. Other institutions are going to be uh, looking at, at cost and value of cost of the keyboards they're going to purchase. And sometimes there are preconceived notions about uh, particular pianos, particular brands, those kinds of things that they may be interested in. And I would encourage any, uh, any person making a decision for an institution that wants to buy a piano or a fleet of pianos, that they look at the total package, the service components, the quality of the instruments, the pricing of the instruments, uh, the availability, for instance, of uh, technicians from Japan who helped construct these instruments, uh, those kinds of things, rather than just look at uh, the moniker of a particular brand or uh, dealing with a particular music store. The advice I would give to chairs and, uh, and deans, people who are looking at a piano campaign and weighing uh, the prospect of going to an all Steinway school or, um, or a Kauai Epic school um, is do your homework. Um, is ask other people um, in the business, technicians who are working on pianos, ask them um, to compare the, uh, the historical quality of the Steinway product um, versus the current quality of the Steinway product to really get into the nuts and bolts of it. And then ask and compare that to the quality of the Shigeru and, and uh, the Shigeru piano when you're looking at the grand pianos and the other, and the other Kawhi pianos as well. How, um, just do your homework and you'll see that um, when you're looking at um, the best uh, in use of your money and your resources that it becomes clear that Kawhi is, uh, is a comparable product. Um, is, in my opinion, for us, it was more than just a comparable product. It was the best product fit for us when we, uh, when we did our homework. I would advise any department chair or dean considering purchasing new pianos to take a good long look at the Kauai brochures, talk to Kauai America employees, uh, ask those of us who have been EPIC partners for a good long while about the quality of the instruments and the relationship that we have with Kauai America. And I think if they'll do that, they'll realize that, that purchasing Kauai pianos is a very wise thing. Uh, we all have limited budget funds. Uh, we want the most quality we can get for a reasonable price, or at least uh, prices that fit our departmental uh, and institutional budgets. I feel that Kauai has one of the finest products to offer uh, that will actually fit into most of our budgets. You can go with, uh, with more expensive programs. Uh, you can go with, with programs that have names that have a great deal of prestige. But you, in my opinion, you won't find uh, more quality uh, in any instrument than you'll find in all levels of the Kauai instruments, from the uh, digitals and the uprights and the small practice grands and the larger grands and the concert grands, and particularly the Shigeru Kauai concert grand. It can be a very daunting task to think about taking on a piano campaign. Of course it is. You could be, when you're first sitting there thinking about it at your desk, or sitting with your colleagues around and saying, you know, our pianos are in bad shape. It could be anything from a million dollars, half a million dollars, five, ten million dollars. It depends upon the size of your school. The idea of encompassing, okay, how much is this going to cost? How am I going to convince my stakeholders that it's time to replace these pianos, especially now? 
um, that it's a worthy investment of our time and our money. How am I going to do that? How am I going to create a study that explains um, in, in, in black and white details in a, in, in a very easy way to sit down in front of somebody who actually has the money to make it happen? How am I going to explain this to them? Kawhi made the steps very easy for us from the introduction to the study, um, uh, to the visit and the assessment, the study that they put before us, the flexibility in saying, you can do this now, you can do this in stages, um, we're going to work with you on this. The ease of communications, so much of it fell into place. It made it so easy. It hasn't been. A piano replacement campaign can be a huge a priority and can take up a lot of time um, because of all the factors that come into play. It hasn't been that for me. It's been something that is that has taken up a little bit of time, but not anywhere near what I thought it would because um, I had the tools that I needed and the support that I needed to make it fall into place from Kauai. It, was, it made it very, very easy and it's almost over. And I'm really thrilled that it has been as painless as it has been and the payoffs have been so good.